क्वेश्चन 161 सेलेक्ट द करेक्ट ऑप्शन डिस्क्राइबिंग गोनाडोट्रोफिन एक्टिविटी इन अ नॉर्मल प्रेग्नेंट फीमेल नाउ इन केस ऑफ प्रेगनेंसी देयर विल बी कॉर्पस ल्यूटियम वुड बी रिटेन्ड इन द ओवरी व्हिच वुड बी सिक्रीटिंग लार्ज अमाउंट्स ऑफ प्रोजेस्टेरोन अलोंग विद एस्ट्रोजन एंड व्हेन बोथ प्रोजेस्टेरोन एंड एस्ट्रोजन आर प्रेजेंट दैट विल गिव अ नेगेटिव फीडबैक टू गोनाडोट्रोफिन so during this time fsh and lh would be suppressed now the first option says high level of fsh and lh stimulates the thickening of endometrium so now at this time fsh and lh are suppressed so of course their high level cannot be there and moreover fsh and lh do not stimulate the thickening of endometrium so this is wrong now next one again high level of fsh and lh this again is wrong and certainly they do not have an effect on facilitating implantation for implantation progesterone is required next is high level of hcg stimulates the synthesis of estrogen and progesterone now this is correct because the growing embryo will be secreting hcg from its trophoblast cells and those trophoblast cells which are secreting hcg this hcg is maintains corpus luteum so that the secretion of estrogen and progesterone can continue so this is the correct answer the other level high level of hcg stimulate the thickening of endometrium so of course hcg does not have a direct effect on endometrium rather hcg is preventing the regression of corpus luteum so our answer is 3 after this we can move on to question 162 Question one sixty two, tubectomy is a method of sterilization in which now tubectomy is a is a contraceptive method which is a terminal method of contraception prescribed to those females who have completed their families and do not want any more children. So in that case, the fallopian tubes are cut and their ends are tied. So we have this first choice: a small part of the fallopian tube is removed or tied up. So this will be our answer. ovaries are removed surgically this would be called ovarectomy not tubectomy small part of the vas deferens is removed or tied up this would be vasectomy which is prescribed to males and the fourth one that is uterus is removed surgically this is hysterectomy and again not tubectomy so the first choice is the correct answer where the fallopian tubes are cut and tied up and this is as we said a terminal method of contraception so after this we can move on to question 163 question number 163 which of the following is a hormone releasing intrauterine device now iud's are again contraceptive devices which are placed inside the uterus now in this multi load 375 this is a iud but it does not release hormone rather it is a copper releasing iud so it releases copper ions then lng20 lng20 is releasing levonorgestrel which is a synthetic progesterone so this is certainly hormone releasing iud cervical cap and vault both of these are barrier contraceptives and so that is why our answer would be lng20 because lng20 is the one which is releasing levonorgestrel which is a progesterone analog now moving on to question 164 assisted reproductive technology that is ivf in vitro fertilization involves the transfer of now in case of in vitro fertilization the ovum and the sperm are fertilized in a glass test tube or a petri dish and after that there are two options either the zygote or the embryo up to 8 blastomeres will be transferred into the fallopian tube which will be called zift or there would be more than 8 blastomere stage which will be transferred into the uterus now out of these options let us see which is the correct one ovum into the fallopian tube 
so this is certainly wrong because after IVF it won't be the ovum it is going to be the zygote then zygote into the fallopian tube this is the correct one the other options also let us see zygote into the uterus no it won't be zygote it would be more than eight blastomere stage which is going to be transferred into the uterus and fourth one embryo with 16 blastomeres into the fallopian tube this again is wrong because only up to eight blastomere stage it is transferred into the fallopian tube so our answer is two where that zygote is being transferred into the fallopian tube so we can move on to the next question 165